Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to be going over the 12th question from the midterm practice exam I used to hand out at university when teaching statistics. If you've missed any of the other questions and want to review them, please look in the corner here, the comments section, or the description, and there's a playlist available. The question we have today is, suppose that a healthy human body has an average body temperature of 96.07 with a standard deviation of 1.764. According to the central limit theorem, what happens to the histogram of averages as n increases? For central limit theorem, it is generally understood as, as n increases, the distribution looks more like a normal distribution, regardless of what the original distribution is. Now, there are very rare cases where the original distribution pans out, but those are exceptionally rare. And this is one of those questions where you do have multiple choice or you typically have multiple choice. We're going to walk through the five potential answers to see why it isn't true or it is true or, you know, basically what the correct answer is and why. So the first one that we're going to go over is E. E is increasing N will not influence what happens. Well, clearly that's not the case because basically the first line in the central limit theorem is as N increases. So N definitely has a part to play. For D, it depends on the mean and standard deviation. The reality is it doesn't, as long as the standard deviation is above zero. This particularly says mean and standard deviation, and so because it only really depends on the standard deviation being greater than zero, it doesn't apply. C is the histogram will look like the original distribution. As I stated, this is something that happens very rarely. Generally speaking, that's not the case. For B, the histogram will look less like the normal curve. That is the complete opposite of what the central limit theorem states. And A states the histogram will look more like the normal curve. So that's the answer. What I have below is a graph showing that as N increases, the more it looks like the normal distribution. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section. Thank you for watching and stay nerdy, my friends.